Welcome to the Not So Perfect Guide to Whirlwind Barbarian Season 20. Now in this guide I will show you what gear and skills you need to get going on a Whirlwind Barb. Now before we go on, don't forget to hit the sub and tickle that bell so you can keep up to date with all my guides and videos. Right, so what do I mean by a Not So Perfect Guide? Well, this is not going to show you how to do a GR150 and not even a 100. This is meant for the player that wants to start a whirlwind barb and wants to clear a T16 Nephilim Rift. A point to make is that this guide has basic items, non-ancient or primal, and low level legendary gems. By low, I need 35. I think my Taeguk is level 4. First up is the gear that I'm using. Uh, that's the full 6 piece set of Wrath of the Wastes, accompanied by Little Rogue and the Slanderer. Now the belt is very important and that is Lamentation. Rings, I have Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac and Convention of Elements. Uh, amulet is Flavor of Time. It's an absolute cack Flavor of Time, but it is a Flavor of Time. My legendary gems are Gogok of Swiftness, Bane of the Trapped, and Taeguk. Uh, in the Cube of, of Kaniath, uh, I'm not really sure if that actually works. Uh, I have Ambo's Pride, uh, which is very important for this build. Uh, Akita Karas to really reduce the damage taken, and a Band of Might. Last but not least, let's go through the skills. Uh, what I'm using is as follows. And yes, I am a crazy madman who binds all his keys to his mouse. Don't hate me for it, just a very lazy gamer and only want to use one hand and keep one free. You can leave your jokes in the comments below. <laughs> On my left click, I have Ignore Pain Bravado Rune. On my right click, it's something you'll hold down for pretty much all of the build, is Whirlwind Wind Shear. For number one secondary, I have Rend Bloodbath. Uh, Might, I have Furious Charge, Merciless Assault. Tactics, I have Warcry, Hardened Wrath. And Rage, I have Wrath of the Berserker Insanity. Now for my passive skills, I am rocking Boon of the Bull Kathos, Berserker Rage, Ruthless, and Rampage. So how do I play this build? Well, to be honest with you, it's really one of the simplest builds you can start with. When you first enter a rift, Hit the Furious Charge into your first enemy or pack. Wrath the Berserker up. Throw a Warcry. And now you've got enough Fury to start your Whirlwind. Now the damage on this build actually comes from Rend, which is auto-casting when you Whirlwind. A couple of key points here. Always try to keep Wrath of the Berserker up and use the key bindings to automate this. Uh, that's going to help you uh, immensely. If you're not sure how to do it, check out my other video on 5 things I wish I knew before I started playing. Secondly, Ignore Pain gives you an armor boost alongside a speed boost, so try and throw that when you can. Throw a rend against elites. Uh, it just gives you a little extra damage. Um, that's great. For me, this was very easy to get all the items and gear. If you want to start pushing with this build, you need to increase your gem level. And always, Paragon points mean prizes. Then you start looking at cooldown reduction to ensure the Wrath of Berserker is up at all times. And then, you know, go for the Ancients and the Primals. Now, this may be standard advice to most, but I hope it helps out somebody. So, this is my not-so-perfect guide to Whirlwind Barb. If you wish to see more, drop a comment below on what builds you want a guide for. As always, hit the sub button and keep up to date on all my content. Thank you, guys. My name is DB, and I hope to see you all again soon.